Sorry, I'm just playing a game on here. I'm trying to trying to organize it a little bit. It's a working game. The irony. So I'm just trying to get my bearings on this. Okay. So I've made this video because apparently the little girl thought it was a good idea to start screaming and using the M word. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is psychotic behavior, man. Ordinarily, like, I'd say, look, you know, this person's young, like, they don't know any better. But, they, they, like, I've known plenty of kids who will just hear you cuss them out and then just let it the fuck go, man. I mean, shit, like, regardless of age, there are plenty of children out there who will just, like, they know you don't like them and either they'll try to suck up to you or they'll just let it go. But, no, this, no, this kid is next level. She's got an obsession with me and she blames me for the fact that everybody else is upset with her. But the thing is, her own behavior is why everybody's upset with her. It's not me. It's got nothing to do with me. She, she just finds it more convenient to blame me because I'm not family. But then again, that's what kids do. But what I'm going to say is seeing as the police are watching this, Either the little girl or the older brother. I think it was a little girl, honestly. She came into her room above me, started screaming, saying, oh, you got nothing to say, you dumb N-word. Um, and that was at that point that I emailed uh, the P PC bar following me. He's going to be watching my videos. Or any investigating police officer is going to be watching my videos. So it was at that point that I emailed him and I told him everything that was going on. I've also told him that this person has an obsession with saying we won. I don't know why. I think the reason for that is, is because the last time she started taunting me and saying we won, I started going into a breakdown. But the thing is, it wasn't actually her. It wasn't the child. What it was, was a few things that really made me angry. The first thing was, was when I confronted the mother and the sister that, you know, they completely lied about what they've been saying about me. So they've been looking at my social media, showing it to people, calling me all kinds of N-words when they get angry, talking shit about my race and all that type of stuff. And yet when I actually confront them, they stood there and lied. So that's the first thing that made me angry. The second thing that made me angry was the police handling of the situation because they came at me accusatory without expl without basically understanding the situation and I made I, I made excuses for them before but I'm not going to do it now because if you can't go into a situation without being unbiased you don't need to be a police officer simply put right so the police officer pissed me off and on top of that, I was having a premenstrual dysmorphic disorder episode. And then on top of that, with regards to the physical torture, the physical torture still goes on every day. And then with that, on top of the harassment the little girl was carry on, on, carrying on with, that was just the... the conference room. Shit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. So this little girl is thinking... That she's making me angry when the truth of the matter is, is that I have a lot of other troubles on my back. And when she starts taunting me or spying on me every time I go to the toilet, I don't know why she does that. She thinks that somebody going to the toilet is humiliating somehow. So she does that to me and reports back to her mother. And she thinks that it's humiliating to me when really like she's just humiliating herself because what kind of sicko listens to somebody going to the toilet and then reports back to their parents like i said at, at a certain point it cannot be an age thing it can't be an age thing it's a personality thing i know plenty of children who don't do things like that like that's that's a special type of malice that specific personalities have it's got nothing to do with your age and it's got everything to do with who you are as a person and as much as i want to blame the mother for all of this i can't really blame her she might be a fucking idiot but she doesn't delight in cruelty 
she's weak sure but she doesn't delight in cruelty that's just not that's just not how she operates because i've been listening to that family for the best part of two months that mother does not delight in cruelty she might do cruel things but she doesn't have fun with it this little girl has fun with it she has fun with it and at the end of the day the fact is is that she hates me and she wants me to care that she hates me but she's a little girl and i don't know her she's a little girl and i don't know her so why why should i give a damn if she hates me and the whole reason why i disliked her in the first place which again she doesn't see it's not okay to spy on people going to the toilet and reporting back to your family. It's not okay to try to make somebody angry because you don't like to hear them laugh. That type of behavior is not all right. It doesn't matter what your age is. And if you're doing that as, a, as somebody of any age, there is something deeply, deeply wrong with you. Because that's at the root of all this. It's got nothing to do with the way I've treated her or anything to do with that. You know what started this off? I told you that it was about me laughing. But I'll take you back further than that. When they first moved in, that little girl turned around to her mother and she said, you hate black people. And that was loud and clear for me to hear. So the mum yelled at her, basically screamed in her face for saying it loud. And then... On top of that, she came into her own bedroom. This is when we first moved in. She came into her own bedroom, heard me laughing, and this little girl got scared. Or at least that's what I thought. I thought she was scared of my laughter. I didn't think that she was actually upset that somebody else was happy. I was laughing. She ran back to her mother crying. And she said, oh, I don't want to stay in the bedroom because I'm scared. And I'm thinking, no, no, you're not scared. You're not scared. You just, you're not used to people actually laughing. That's what all of this is about. You're not used to people laughing. You're used to people being upset because people being upset with you. Once again, I've seen this so many times before where somebody keeps needling you, not because they hate you, not because they really think that you're a piece of crap or whatever, but they do it because that's literally the only type of love they know. Pissing people off and getting that person to react. That is the only type of love they're actually used to. They cause people pain. And when that person reacts negatively, then it means that they love them. I've seen this before. It's not a childhood thing. Because I've seen it in adults. I've seen adults who are the same way. They get people to react because they think that reaction gives them power. And they think that reaction is actually a form of love, really. This is not normal behavior. This is not normal behavior. This is not the behavior of a person in fear. This is a behavior of a person who kicks a hornet's nest, gets stung, and then act like that's a form of love. That's not, that's not fear. That's not fear. And most people are terrible, don't get me wrong, I include myself in that. Like, most people are terrible, but I have to think about myself and my mental health, and I don't think it's good for my mental health for me to have somebody up there who is that obsessed with me regardless of how old they are that's that's just not right yeah so no just because that little girl is not used to people laughing not used to people having genuinely having fun and especially not by themselves. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if nurture has anything to do with that, honestly. I, I don't know if it's a nurturing thing. At first I thought it was. And maybe it partially is, but... 
Not wholly, not entirely. It's not right. It's not right. I go away for a break. Like, this this little girl pleaded with me not to hurt her mum. Pleaded. And yet she's going to carry on doing the same shit that made her scared that I was going to hurt her mum in the first place. I go for a break, come back. Same thing happens again. That's a person. That's a personality issue. It's got nothing to do with the mother. And how the mother raised her. So, yeah. To recap, because I know Sussex police are watching my videos. To recap, the little girl started screaming the N-word. And she's been trying to say, we won, we won for the best part of... I don't know, it's been like, what, three days? Like, every chance she gets. Because she thinks it's saying that we won means something. But the truth of the matter is, the only thing that annoys me is her obsession with me. I don't know her. And I don't care if she hates me. In fact... The more she tries to show me attention is the more I try to back away from her. Because the thing about me, right, is that I talk a lot of shit. I talk a lot of shit. But the thing about me is that the only way somebody will ever get me to mention them is if they keep prodding me. Nine times out of ten, if I don't like somebody, I just won't talk about them. I won't talk about them. I won't talk to them. Because I don't want that type of negative energy in my life. So if I really don't like you, I'm going to vote with my feet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to show it in my actions. If I really don't like somebody, I'm going to show it with my actions. I don't want to be around you. I don't want to talk about you. I don't want to be anywhere near you. I'm going to vote with my feet. I, I could give a damn whether this little girl likes me or not. I don't care what she thinks of me. She's small. She's a child. She's a child and she's not even a good person. So why the hell would I care what she thinks? I don't, I just don't understand like why, what this obsession is with me. Like, but like, just get over it. If I wanted to, I could be obsessive. I've got people fucking trying to kill me. If I wanted to, I could be obsessive. And to be honest, I have been, but not with people trying to kill me. But that's another matter entirely. But, yeah. No, it's not right, man. It's not right. It's not right at all. The horrible thing is, is that if that little girl goes and that whole family got to go. And nine times out of ten, like most of the people in that family have been keeping their mouths shut. They have been, they ain't been saying, when I say they ain't been saying shit, they ain't been saying shit. Nothing. They've been trying to keep everything on lockdown, trying to keep everything low key. Sure, they're listening in on me from time to time. But in terms of taunting me and starting shit with me, they have been doing their level best not to. Because of how badly everything has turned out. With, you know, with reporting me to mental health and all that. Like, because of how badly everything has turned out, they have been doing their damnedest not to make things worse. So it's really quite sad that if this little girl doesn't stop, then they all have to go. It's really sad. It shouldn't happen like that. Yeah, and, and it's a tragedy as well, because this person's still only a child. They, they haven't even begun to live life yet. She ain't even begun to live life yet. And we're in this situation where... If a child doesn't stop, and a child isn't even entirely responsible for their actions, then the whole family got to go. It's really bad. It's really, really bad, like... It's really bad. So a whole family will end up homeless because of somebody who can't even take that much responsibility for their actions in the first place because they're only young but at the end of the day i have to think about myself and my mental health 
I was honestly going to leave because I didn't think it made any sense for a whole family to be homeless because of a kid that I don't give a shit about. I just didn't think that was right. But... Yeah, I just didn't think it was right. But this little girl seems to have an obsession with making me angry because she's blaming everybody else for stuff that she and her mum created. So the little girl is blaming me for stuff she and her mum and her brother, to a lesser extent, created. I'm trying to understand. Like, it's you, it's got nothing to do with anyone else, but at the same time, still a kid, that type of stuff, yeah... Yeah, I just want people to stop obsessing over me. If you're going to torture me, fucking do it. Like, do your job and just leave me the fuck alone after that. Like, don't fuck with me. Leave me alone. Don't try and turn this stuff into sport because you can't handle the way people treat you over your actions. Just stop. It's boring. Anyway, I'm going to get back to my game. And once again, to Sussex Police, you're going to be watching this. Mental health, you're definitely going to be watching this. So I want you guys to pay attention, okay? I'm not just going through gang stalking at the moment. I'm going through that, don't get me wrong, right? But I'm once again in a situation where a neighbour is obsessed with me. And the thing about it is, when it comes to gang stalking, they know who to lean on. There's always one person that these gang stalkers lean on more than anybody else. And that person is usually vindictive as hell and can't take the slightest bit of criticism. And, and once they get it, they get obsessed with trying to destroy a person, especially if a person is indifferent to them. There's always one. It, this is not the first time it's happened. That's why I say regardless of age, because this is not the first time this shit has happened. There's always been one gang stalker who is obsessed with me. Always one. Because remember, these people come in as a funhouse mirror to your own life. So of course there's always going to be one person who's fucking obsessed with you. Nine times out of ten. This, ain't my, this, is, this is the reason why I wasn't pissed off with the family when they reported me to mental health. Because this ain't my first rodeo. It's not the first time somebody has done that out of revenge because I said something they didn't like. Or I threatened to expose their whole bullshit. It's not the first time it's happened to me. Every single time I get too close to the window, mental health. yeah but anyway yeah this is this is this can't run something's got to be done about this and the thing is sussex police i know you're watching this you are letting this happen mental health you are letting this happen and you know why you're letting this happen it ain't got shit to do with my delusions because i don't have any when it comes to this so anyway i've got to go to the rest of my fellow ti's i love you guys very much Mwah. Bye-bye. Yeah, let's hope I don't have another PMDD episode because of this nonsense. But we'll see what happens. I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.